So welcome back to the Cumbrian Earth Cave where it is Christmas. Specifically, it's the 1st of December, which means one thing and one thing only. It's Advent Calendar time again. Let's do it. Um, I've done this for the past few years now. Um, got a few Advent Calendars and opened them and seen what's in them. And it's all very cool and I bloody love Advent. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five this time around. Um, the usual chocolate, a bit of Lego, a bit of Playmobil, and possibly something on the way. But we'll uh, we'll wait for that one until it actually comes before I start that. That might be a good one though. But uh, we'll start off with the normal. Uh, we have Aldi's Kevin the Carrot. Now Kevin the Carrot is a, a character they've been running with for a few years now. Blimey, uh, about four or five years I think. And uh, yeah, it's just a carrot that like Christmas. Uh, I don't. There you go. Ripped friend tear and uh, yeah he did they've gone with him a few years he's been a very successful character for them uh, they make plushies and they do different themes every year I've got a few of them he's really cool and this year they've gone with something a little bit different where Kevin's not the main character it's a character called a banana Scrooge and he's a banana basically who doesn't like Christmas because he's Scrooge and eventually he, he likes Christmas because Scrooge did so I always think it's very unfair that Scrooge gets labelled this miserable man. But he wasn't a miserable man really at all, was he? He liked Christmas in the end. Uh, they've also got a character on there called Marcus Radishford, who is uh, giving away, he's a, a football playing radish who gives food to children. Marcus Radishford, uh, amazing. And he's voiced by Marcus Rashford as well. And I definitely want that pushy when it comes out. But anyway, there's the Kevin the Carrot. Uh, I won't be opening him on... Uh, camera as much i'll do this one today uh where are we where's number one? Oh, where is number one 24 is a big one but then that's uh usual here you go number one is here and uh i'm guessing it's just a there we go we got a star look we got a star and we got a what the hell oh right okay so they're doing bespoke chocolate this year because that is actually a carrot that looks like kevin that's quite cool liking that but um yeah that's kevin oh and yeah the picture should show you really it's kevin and his family so it's bob cratchit so there's where is tiny tim i'm guessing that's tiny tim he doesn't look that bloody ill does he but uh, there you go it's the cratchit i would imagine and then from mark dispenser because i likes the solar system i do um got a solar system one now it's 24 mil chocolates with daily planet facts and it's the science museum and you see all the planets there minus pluto because neil degrasse tyson doesn't like pluto apparently um but we'll start off with one what i need what i need is that a pair of tweezers very useful tweezers uh and that will get into it without breaking it oh and uh it's foil covered because it is so did you know we only see one sorry we only see one side of the moon from earth now that i did know because the moon is tidally locked which means that we only ever see one side as the moon um revolves so does the earth so we only ever see the one side of the moon there we go and uh no picture inside just foil and we get a nice little christmas tree to have like that so uh, yeah we only see one side of the moon from earth there we go that's the two chocolate ones i might do the solar system one i'm not probably not gonna i'm gonna do it and i i'm gonna do all of them we know that so lego we do like lego here at the Cumbria nerd cave as you all know i still need to put up some uh, ecto one videos uh, from ages ago i did complete it it's behind the tree so i can't show you it yet but i will i'll get there we have first things first the lego city advent calendar very nice this year um more of an actual city theme a couple of years ago they did sort of like a cottage uh, like an american cottage housey kind of affair and it was very nice but this is more like your old-fashioned lego city so there's like 
uh, fire station because of course it's a fire station there's a fire helicopter and there's people playing hockey and all kinds of lovely stuff and uh, yeah you see it on the back of there as well very good you can still buy these so if you do want them best thing to do is buy them so uh, really nice scene that when you fold it out you see lots of people sort of hanging about and Father Christmas because you've got to have a Father Christmas and it looks like a robot snowman being built there or is it David Hasselhoff I don't know looks a bit like David Hasselhoff doesn't it and you get a nice sort of train track road kind of affair there as well so we are looking at number one which is there right there so let's pop that open and see what we get so ooh, that is a nice little bag of lego which we always enjoy getting little bags of lego and it looks to be a truck oh no it's a bus it's a bus look that's a bus that you get to make so we shall make that in a second We've also got, because we have to, Star Wars. And this year it is Mandalorian thing because the Mandalorian ended last year uh, for season two. Uh, no Mandalorian this year, but we do have um, Boba Fett coming out, the book of Boba Fett, which is, looks very exciting. So all kinds of wonderful stuff on here. You've got uh, Grogu, you've got the Mandalorian himself, you've got the uh, Razor Crest, you've got um, um, Moff, what's his face? Yeah, him. <laughs> Gideon, Moff Gideon, there you go. You've got his light cruiser, um, sand people, stormtroopers, all kinds of lovely stuff. Original stormtroopers, which you don't often see these days in these things. And then you have a look on the other side, uh, there's X wings and biker troopers and all kinds of lovely stuff. And the usual bump that doesn't immediately make itself seen. I'll tell you what, you also get Boba Fett's starship there as well, which is bloody great. Um, but there you go. Number one, I'm assuming these things tend to be, whoops, uh, lost the light there, two seconds. Because these things are all so big. And I'm very lazy at light setups, there you go. Um, yeah, it's in exactly the same place as the Lego City one is, so let's pop her open. Oh, this, this power box gets in the bloody way, doesn't it? What have we got for the first day? Oh, well, that's good. I know what this is nice grey bag of lego and it's all grey and you know why because they're starting big they're starting very big it's the razor quest uh so there you go i always want to say laser quest does it show um so yes we'll build that in a second as well the other one i've got is super 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 cool and uh there's two versions of this uh playmobil don't often have playmobil um because but it just wasn't that popular in this country for a while uh, it is now it's really cool and um they've done back to the future two sets one from 1985 they haven't dealt with back to the future 2 because i guess that's in the 1985 set kind of and it's a depressing film um and they've also gone with back to the future 1885 oh look at that very cool so there's loads of scenes from the film, there's uh, Clara, there's um, the clock tower being built, there's uh, the grave where they find uh, Doc's grave, uh, the 1950s drive in theatre where Marty actually makes his trip, and other stuff as well. Um, I'll be honest with you, Back to the Future 3 is my favourite. I like that better than any of the others. I don't know why, actually, I do know why. Um, Mad Doc Tannen. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cool uh, but this is very cool so what you do you open up the box and in the box there's various things various scenes and stuff um, that I think you get in here as well now, I've got a lot of those out already so we shall mess around with those at, at various points there you go that's that get the bit of the big box that will go in the recycling you'll be happy to know and there you are left with the actual advent calendar itself which is very very cool um it depicts the drive-in you see the drive-in screen at the back there uh, you can also see let's have a look oh they did do back to the future part two i didn't see that oh no that's a set 
that's just a set. There you go. So you've got Back to the Future 2 set. You've got the uh, the truck that Marty wanted from the first film. And you have um, the original 1985 Back to the Future. Uh, anyway, we are going to deal with number one, which is there. Very easy to open. You'll be happy to know. And what do we have behind number one? Hey, that's cool. Copernicus. Hang on a minute. Let me stick this down. Because it's all big and chunky, it all stays uh, very nicely. And uh, yeah, Copernicus. And his head is movable. But it, that would be Copernicus, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, it would be. It wouldn't be Einstein. Einstein's in the 50s, right? I don't know. I think it's Copernicus. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it would be Copernicus. There you go. Very cool. He wouldn't call it Einstein because Einstein's not been uh, born himself yet. There you go. Uh, what I'm going to do then is build the two Star Wars things and come back to you and we'll have a look at what they look like. Bye for now. And we're back. And uh, yes, I was right. This is Copernicus. This is 1955 uh, model Copernicus. Like I say, Einstein was from the 80s. He was from 85. Of course he was. There we go. So we had uh, a bit of a build and uh, we got two very little cool Lego mini vehicle things. So obviously the Razor Crest. I want to say Laser Quest so much. Uh, I, ha I do have a big version of this, which I will get out and show at some point. Uh, it is rather nice. Uh, but there you go. Little uh, tiny Razor Crest, which of course at this point has been blown up. So, I, I, you know, there you go. I, I don't know where... Uh, I don't know if that still exists in the show or if he'll get it rebuilt. Uh, the Lego City, really cool. It was a little bus. Look, look at this thing. Look at how cool that is. Little bus. It's not a tram. I'm certain it's not a tram. That looks like a bus to me. Don't know about you guys. Uh, but yeah, really dinky. Um, obviously, these are like sort of holes for wheels on, on proper vehicles or like uh, cantilevers, that kind of thing. But uh, at this point, it is just a dinky little bus. How cool is that? I love it. So there we go. We've got two chocolates. We've got three little minifigures. Not a bad haul for day one. Uh, day two tomorrow. We'll be back then. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye for now.